So the cause of the First World War, Britain in particular, was worried. It was a bit jealous, perhaps, because we'd been the most powerful nation for at least 100 years. There was nobody in Britain by the eve of the First World War that couldn't remember Britain being the most powerful nation in the world. And suddenly along came Germany after it was united in 1870, which was more advanced industrially, was producing more. It was a concern. But also a big worry was they were building dreadnoughts and a navy to rival Britain. The navy was the main way we protected ourselves, so it was obviously going to worry us that Germany was building up a big navy. Germany, for their part, they were worried about France. France getting revenge for the German victory in a war in 1870 when Germany took a, some region of France called Alsace and Lorraine. And it's understandable that Germany might therefore think that France might want to attack it and take it back. They were, there was also the fact that the Kaiser wasn't really worried so much as he just wanted Germany to have an empire. He thought that that was one reason why Britain and France were quite powerful, that they had an empire. Problem was, Britain and France had kind of taken most of the available and uh, attractive um, uh, countries around the world for their empire. So there was only one way they were going to be able to take it, really, and that was muscling in on Britain and France's territory. Something else which worried Britain and France. Coming on to France... France was very concerned because they're right next door to Germany and Germany was more industrially powerful, also was trying to take an empire and Germany had already beaten it in a war in 1870. So there was a lot of reason for France to be really worried about the prospect of Germany becoming this really powerful nation. Austria-Hungary had a very different problem. It was kind of on the sides of all of this. Austria-Hungary was a, an empire full of lots of different languages, religions, nations, and it was really difficult for the emperor of Austria-Hungary to keep the empire together because lots of these places, like, like Bosnia, wanted to be rid of it, like Czechoslovakia, you might have heard of the Czech Republic, those, those sorts of areas, they did not want to be part of Austria-Hungary anymore. So Austria-Hungary's main concern is to try to keep Austria-Hungary from splitting up into lots of little countries. However, Russia was there on the periphery trying to kind of encourage it or support it. Russia was supporting Serbia. They thought that Austria-Hungary shouldn't be controlling places like Bosnia. So they all have the individual worries and hopefully that's going to help you to fill out your tables.